This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Nancy Moeller, and we're happy you could join us because we have a couple of great games scheduled for you tonight. First, you're going to see Columbus Grove take on Coldwater. Of course, we want to introduce you to our players joining us from Columbus Grove. We have Cassie Heilman, Anna Choi, Will Nussbaum, and Joey Edelbrock. And Columbus Grove is coached by Nancy Shortchin. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Coldwater High School. Natalie Langenkamp is our player. Gina Langenkamp, Emma Eckstein, and Thomas Pax. And Coldwater is coached by Matt Lange. Welcome to you as well. All right, in our first round, we have 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. They are up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. Make sure you speak as loudly as you can into those microphones and make your answers as complete as possible. All right, here we go. Question number one. Robert Kennedy was the campaign manager for what presidential candidate? The buzzer rang first, so we are going to um, just give you the answer. It is John Kennedy. Question two now. When you are assigned a PIN number, what does PIN stand for? Yes, that would be Coldwater. Personal identification number. That is the correct answer. Very good. All right. Question number three. In what state is Sing Sing Prison located? All right, the buzzer rang first. It is New York. All right, question five. What insect flies the fastest? Yes, cold water. A B. I'm sorry? A B. A B, no, that is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try? Yes. A dragonfly? Dragonfly is the answer. All right, what is the outer layer of the earth called? Yes, cold water. The crust. The crust is correct. Identify the pickpocket friend of Oliver Twist. All right, that'd be Columbus Grove. Dodger. Could you complete that answer? No. All right, we're going to have to turn it over to Coldwater. No, the answer in its complete form is the artful Dodger. All right, question number seven. If you walk 26,400 feet, how many miles have you walked? Yes, Columbus Grove. Five. Five is correct. What kind of creature is Spock in Star Trek? Yes, Columbus Grove. He's half Vulcan, half human. That is correct. You have two questions remaining yet. Name the mineral that strengthens bones. Yes, cold water. Calcium. Calcium is correct. All right. <clears throat> and our final question in round one. Name the award given to the National Hockey League champion. Yes, Columbus Grove. The Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one, and we will uh, take a break here. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. 
All right, welcome back everyone. We've got a tight game right now between Columbus Grove and Coldwater. Here is our score. Columbus Grove with 40 points, Coldwater with 30. So that means Columbus Grove is going to lead this round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are exclusively yours, but please buzz in with your answers. All right, on which continent is Mount Kilimanjaro? Yes. Africa. Africa is correct. Name the great lake that has five letters in its name. Yes. Huron. Huron is correct. Give the city and the state where you would find the Harry S. Truman Presidential Library and Museum. All right, time is up. The answer is Independence, Missouri. All right, two questions remaining in this round for you. What is the color of the cow that Gillette Burgess said he would not want to be? Yes. Blue. Blue is incorrect. The answer is purple. And your final question. What emperor founded the Mongol dynasty in China? Yes. Hold on. That is incorrect. The answer is Kublai Khan. All right, moving over to Coldwater now. Is everybody ready here? Okay, here we go. Five questions and they're all yours. In what state did a man disappear into a sinkhole from his bedroom in 2013? Florida. Yes. Florida. Florida is the answer. Who is the Muppet character that is famous for saying it's not easy being green? Yes. Kermit the Frog. Kermit is correct. Name the blood disorder characterized by excessive bleeding in males. Yes. A hernia. That is incorrect. The answer is hemophilia. All right, you have two questions remaining in this round. Give the name of a collection of billions of stars held together by gravity. I want to say cluster. Galaxy. Yes. A galaxy. Galaxy is the answer. And here's your final question in this round. Name the structure built in Paris for the 1889 world's, yes, cold water. The Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower is the answer. Okay. Very good job. We've come to the end of round two now, and our score is tied. Both teams with 50 points. Now, this final round again. Ten questions were ten points apiece. Up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready. Please speak up if you can and be as clear and concise with your answers as possible. In the Bible, who was the mother of Cain, Abel, and Seth? Yes, cold water. Eve. Eve is the answer. Name the artist that sang the song Thriller. Cold water. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is the answer. Question number three. Who said one small step for man? Cold water. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is the answer. All right, question number four in your final round. What temperature is considered the standard for boiling water at sea level? Yes, Columbus Grove. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. That is correct. What is the optical toy that entertains with changing pieces of glass? Yes, Columbus Grove. A kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is correct. All right, question six in your final round. What is the race that is 26 miles and 385 yards long? Yes, Columbus Grove. A marathon? Marathon is correct. Name the capital of Nepal. Yes, Columbus Grove. Naples. That is incorrect. Coldwater, do you want to try this? Yes. Sita. That is incorrect. The answer is Kathmandu. All right, you have three questions remaining in your game. 
What is the famous pier in the center of the city of Chicago? Yes, that would be Coldwater. Navy Pier. Navy Pier is the answer. What was Al Capone's most common nickname? All right, our buzzer rang first. The answer is Scarface. Okay, you have one question remaining. On what US TV show has a main character, Big Bird? Cold Water. Sesame Street. Sesame Street it is. All right, we have come to the end of a nail biter between Cold Water and Columbus Grove. Here's our final score. Columbus Grove, 80 points. Cold water, you're the winners with 100. So congratulations to you, Columbus Grove. Thank you very much for playing. And we will be back with another game right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back, everyone. Something a little bit different now, but still a lot of fun. We're going to play an exhibition game right now between Columbus Grove and Bell Fountain High Schools. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Columbus Grove. We have Joey Edelbrock, Will Nussbaum, Cassie Heilman, and Anna Choi. And Columbus Grove is coached by Nancy Shortchin. Thanks for being with us. All right, turning now to Bell Fountain. Playing for Bell Fountain is Ben Sailors, Miriam Eyrick, Lily Evans, and Justin Long. Bell Fountain is coached by Donna Bruner. Welcome to all of you. All right, we have 10 questions in this first round. They are worth 10 points apiece. They are all yours. Make sure you get those buzzers ready and speak as loudly as you can and make your answers as complete as possible, okay? Everybody set? All right, question one. What team lost four consecutive Super Bowl games between 1991 to 1994? Time is up. The answer is the Buffalo Bills. All right, question number two. Name the U.S. city that got self-rule in 1973? Time is up. The answer is Washington, D.C. All right, number three. What is the three-dimensional image that can be viewed from different angles? Yes, Bell Fountain. Isometric. That is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? All right, the answer is hologram. Okay, number four. Name the state that has the nickname Land of Lincoln. Yes, Columbus Grove. Illinois. Illinois is the answer. All right, number five. What was the site of the final battle of the 1815 Napoleonic Wars? Yes, Bell Fountain. Waterloo. Waterloo is correct. Give the three word nickname for Missouri. Time is up. The answer is the show me state. All right, question seven. Who is married to Prince William? Yes, Bell Fountain. Meghan Michael. That is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? Yes. Kate Blanchett. That is incorrect. The answer is Kate Middleton. All right, question number eight. In the Bible, who was Abraham's nephew? 
Yes, Bell Fountain. Isaiah. That is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? The answer is lot. All right, two questions remaining in round one. What is half the diameter of a circle? Yes, Columbus Grove. It's radius. Radius is correct. And here's your final question in round one. Give the phrase used by Winston Churchill for the barrier between Western, yes, that would be Columbus Grove. The Iron Curtain. Iron Curtain is the answer there. Okay, we've come to the end of round one, and here's our score. Columbus Grove, you have 30. Bell Fountain has 10. Columbus Grove, you're going to lead the second round with five questions worth five points apiece, and they are all yours. Please ring in the buzzer, though. How many women have won the Indianapolis 500? One. One is incorrect. The answer is zero. All right, number two. Name the author of Around the World in 80 Days. Time is up. The answer is Jules Verne. All right, number three in the second round. What city is host to the National Cherry Blossom Festival? Yes. Uh, Traverse City. That is incorrect. It's Washington, D.C. All right. Question four. With what decade is the Macarena dance associated? No, oh, God, no. Yes. The 90s. The 90s is correct. And your final question in the second round. What vegetable was involved with a tragic Irish famine. Yes. Potatoes. Potato is the correct answer. All right, let's move over to Bell Fountain now for your five questions. Everybody ring in with the answer then, okay? What is up to 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit and can travel as fast as 60,000 miles per second? Yes. The sun? And that is incorrect. Lightning is the answer. Oh, duh. Yeah. All right, an animal that eats both animals and plants is known as what? Omnivore. Yes. Omnivore. Omnivore is the answer. Who painted Starry Night? Van Gogh. Yes. Van Gogh. Vincent Could, Van Gogh. There you go. Vincent Van Gogh is correct. And you have two questions remaining here. What fireproof material had to be removed from schools and other buildings? Yes. Mercury? That is incorrect. Mercury. It's asbestos. Oh. All right, your final question. What musical instrument does a flamenco dancer use? Yes. Finger symbols? Clamp things? We can't take that answer. It is castanets. Oh, dang. All right. We've come to the end of rounds one and two. We are going to take a break and we'll be back with more, our final round, right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, you're watching an exhibition match now between Columbus Grove and Bell Fountain High Schools. Here's our score. Bell Fountain with 20 points and Columbus Grove with 40. We're moving into our final round. Again, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Let's get the buzzers ready. All right, what ancient symbol stood at the harbor of Rhodes? Yes, Bell Fountain. Colossus. Colossus is the answer. What game show is Vanna White a part of? Yes, Bell Fountain. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is the answer. What itchy, contagious virus has the scientific name of varicella? Yes, Columbus Grove. Chickenpox. Chickenpox is correct. 
Question number four in this final round. Churchill declared that all he had to offer was blood, toil, tears, and what else? Yes. Sweat. Sweat. Sweat is the answer. All right, moving on to question five. The home Taliesin West was designed by whom? Yes, Bell Fountain. Carter? Carter is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? All right, time is up. The answer is Frank Lloyd Wright. All right, number six. What Shakespearean character tried to wash perceived blood from her hands? Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. Lady Macbeth. That is the answer, Lady Macbeth. All right, question seven in your final round. Chinese immigrants began to arrive in California just before what 1849? Yes, that would be Columbus Grove. The gold rush? Gold rush is the answer. How many plagues were poured out on Egypt before? Ten. Yes, Bell Fountain? Ten. Ten is the answer there. Okay, you have two questions remaining in this final round. How many metric tons of TNT is a megaton? Yes, Bell Fountain. A thousand. A thousand is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try? Yes. A hundred. That is also incorrect. One million oh. is the wow. answer. Okay, our final question in this game. Name the author of The Telltale Heart. Yes, Bell Fountain. Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our exhibition game between Bell Fountain and Columbus Grove, and here is the final score. And we have a tie. Both teams with 70 points. So we are going to do, I guess, a sudden death question. First one to answer is the winner. Is everybody ready? Okay. In what country is Normandy? Yes, Columbus Grove. France. France is the answer. All right. An exciting game between Bell Fountain and Columbus Grove, and it is an exhibition game. So we want to thank both of you for playing with us. We want to thank you at home for watching as well. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone. Wow.